Living a healthy, balanced life as a mom can sometimes feel impossible. With tiny mouths to feed, butts to wipe, and so many things vying for our attention, it can be easy to feel like we're in an on-again, off-again relationship with healthy living. But it doesn't have to feel this way. I believe every mom is a super mom, and you deserve to feel like one too, and you don't have to go on another diet to do it. Join me, Kristen Dovniak, holistic nutritionist and certified intuitive eating counselor for conversations on what it means to live a healthy, balanced life. I want to help you uncomplicate eating, improve your relationship with food, and live like the supermama I know you are. Hey friends, welcome back to the Healthy Balanced Mama podcast and happy 2020. I cannot believe we are already into the new year and not just a new year, but a new decade. For those of you who don't know, we are kicking off the new year over here um, on the Healthy Balanced Mama podcast and over on Healthy Mama Chris with a healthy habits restart. Now this is not your typical New Year's detox cleanse or anything of the sort, what this is, is 10 days of learning how to create habits that fit your life to help you live in alignment with your values and the things that you want to achieve and the woman that you want to become over this next year into the start of a new decade. So I'm so excited to jump in with all of you guys. For those of you who are brand new and don't know who I am, I'm Kristen Dovniak. I'm a holistic health coach and a certified intuitive eating counselor. And what I do is help women simplify nutrition, tune into their intuition, and heal the relationship with food so they can live healthy, happy, whole lives beyond dieting. I love talking about creating habits because creating habits is truly the crux of how to live a healthy, balanced life without restriction or swinging on again, off again. It's about tuning into what works for you and creating habits around the things that make you feel good. If you've heard my story before, you know that I used to swing from obsession around food and exercise and really a lot of things in my life to complete chaos. And I think a lot of us have experienced that before. A lot of a lot of you can probably relate to that because this is the practice in our society as well. We're told to jump into a new plan, a detox, or a resolution, thinking that going all in is going to be the solution for creating real change. But this isn't actually how change works at all. And the sad part is that most of us know this inherently, but we still do it. So how do we get off the cycle of obsession and chaos and into creating habits that last? If you haven't listened to my podcast habit series that I did in December, I highly encourage you to go listen to episodes 54 to 56. And if you have fitness goals, also listen to episode 57 with Heather from Fit Mama Real Food. And then I want you to come back here and we'll get started about our healthy habits restart. So the goal of this little restart, this little challenge, is to help you restart the habits that you know feel good and begin to adopt new ones if they serve you for a healthier, happier year. It's not about restriction or doing a grand overhaul. It's about creating little habits that are going to multiply into big change in your life this year and beyond. So I've run a version of this challenge for about four years now, and each year I've introduced similar practices for creating healthier habits. But here is what I know about creating healthy habits, and this is what I've learned over the years. Intention is good. Starting healthy habits is good. But you need practice. Handing you habits for 10 days might feel good for those 10 days, but I don't want to just hand you habits. That's not how I work, and that's not how I really want to help women create change in their life. What I'm doing with this challenge now and how I've transformed it is I'm letting you create the habits and helping you create the routine around them to make them really, truly stick. So for those of you who are listening and you haven't actually signed up yet, it's 100% free. That's why we're sharing it here on the podcast. If you go to healthymamachris.com slash habits and just enter your name and email, um, you can go ahead and grab the workbook and be a part of our private Facebook community as well if you'd like to. There's going to be a lot of community and conversation going on over there. So you'll definitely want to be a part of that if you have a Facebook account, but you can still get all of the benefits here on the podcast as well as with the workbook. And I will definitely be referring to the work sheets in this podcast. Um, And the only way you'll be able to get this is by signing up via email um, and becoming a part of our Facebook group. So 
this is how it is going to work over the next days, uh, the next 10 days. There's going to be three or really four parts. The first one is obviously here on the podcast. I'm going to be doing a new mini podcast each morning. So when you wake up, you can log on or I guess hop on to your whatever podcast app that you are using and listen to the mini episode. Now today's is probably going to be longer, of course, but they'll all be 10 minutes or less. Short, sweet, simple. I don't want to overwhelm you, but I want to encourage you to keep up the routine creation and give you time to actually create the routines that fit in your life. So the second part is going to be a daily live video. So at 2 p.m. Eastern in both the private Facebook group and on Instagram, however, the conversation will obviously be happening over on Facebook. It's kind of hard to have um, a conversation with Instagram live. So if you want to ask questions or interact with the other challengers, I would definitely join the private Facebook group. So that is going to be going on each day. And I'm going to be taking a deeper dive into the topics that I um, touch upon in the morning here on the podcast over on the live. So it's kind of two parts. You'll get a lot out of the mini podcast. You'll get some inspiration and motivation and um, some encouragement to work on your worksheets. And then at two o'clock, we'll all meet together and we'll go into more detail and you'll have the opportunity to ask questions as well if you have questions. And the third thing, like I mentioned before, you're going to sign up with your name and email. You'll also get a short daily email to go along with this podcast and a worksheet. Like I said, you can also download the whole workbook in the first email, um, or you can just download the individual days, whatever works best for you. So this challenge is going to happen in three parts, and I call it a challenge, but I don't want you to think of this as something where you're going to complete it and then you're going to be done. This is a jump start into the habits that are going to propel you forward into the woman you want to become into the new year. And that is why I divided this up into three parts. Rather than just giving you a handful of habits, like I mentioned before, I'm dividing it into three parts. So the three parts are mind, method, and meals. The first part is mind. So we're going to get real with how you really want to feel in this new year. True habit change is based on your values and living your life according to what you value. So we're going to learn to focus on daily self-care and tune into your body's needs. So the first three days are going to focus on intention, tuning into our bodies, and implementing a self-care mindset. And then we can go into method. We're going to be reframing the way you think about healthy living. We're going to learn strategies to create habits out of the things that you value, plan for that daily self-care, and create a healthy, happy routine that works for you and your life, not just something that some expert gives you and tells you is going to be right for you. We're going to create this based on your life. So in days four through seven, we're going to talk about meal planning, food prep, and morning and evening routines to implement these habits that you want to implement. In the last three days, we're going to talk about meals because I am a nutritionist. I'm a certified intuitive eating counselor. I'm so passionate about you nourishing your body well, but I want you to create meals based on how you want to feel rather than starting and stopping a plan or going back into that on again, off again cycle throughout the year. So we're going to learn what it means to create a satisfying plate and nourish your body, mind, and soul by including variety, moderation, and balance. So today we are kicking off the mind portion because it really is essential to get our mindset right before we can create true change in our life. So today, day one, we are going to talk about intention. So what does having an intention mean? Intention is simply having an aim or a plan for where you want to be and how you want to live. If you don't know where you're going, you'll never get there. And that's in its essence what intention is. If you haven't set goals for the new year yet, this is a really great place to start. It's looking at what your goals are for the new year and whether or not these goals align with your values and the way that you want to live. Because if they don't line up, you're going to be constantly pushing back against those goals all year long. So it's making those goals and then adjusting them if need be so they align with the life that you really truly want to live. So in the Facebook group, you can download my values-based goal setting workbook in the file section if you haven't already. This is a really great place to start. But when it comes to setting intentions for our days and setting intentions for our lives, there's a few questions that I'd like you to ask yourself. 
The first one is what is your intention in terms of how you want to feel in your life? How do you want to feel in your body? How do you want to feel when you wake up each and every day? Do you want to be excited and alive and ready to start the day? The second question would be what is your why? Your why can't be something that is changeable. Your why behind why you're creating habits in your life needs to be something that is unchangeable and is something that is going to help you create a bigger, better life. It's that reason why you're doing what you do. It could be that you want to live a long and happy life and be a good example for your kids. That's one example I know a lot of moms can relate to. But it can be anything. It just can't be something that is changeable. But it's really, really key to creating habits based on what you value when you know why you're actually creating those habits. When you're clear on your why, the rest will fall into place. So in today's worksheet, this will really help you hone in on your why and help you create a daily intention practice. So kind of a a daily aim for where you want to be and how you want to live that day. So you can start creating habits based on that each and every day. And it's also going to include a reflection exercise that you can do each and every night in order to continually connect with the intentions that you've set for your life. So the first thing we're going to do is create those intentions, figure out what your why is, reflect on the past year and look into the year forward, making sure that our goals align with our values and then create a daily practice of becoming more intentional in your life so that these habits you're creating are going to stick and actually actually propel you forward to be that woman that you want to be. So I want to remind you to not forget to join me live today at 2 p.m. Eastern uh, and every day from January 1st through 10th over on Instagram or in the private Facebook group. I'm going to go into deeper detail and what it means to create intention, to have daily intention and why it's important to reflect on your day and how to create a practice so that you're tuning into your intention and reflecting each and every day without having to have a worksheet. There will also be an opportunity to ask questions if you're having trouble figuring out how to create an intention practice and how to um, hone in on your why. So I am here for you throughout this whole 10 days. I am going to be present and there to really help you create these habits, routines, and rituals to create a really beautiful life going into the new year. So I cannot wait to see you over there live. Um, Join us, healthymamachris.com slash habits if you haven't already. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. Thank you, friends, so much for listening to this episode of the Healthy Balance Mama podcast. I truly hope it encouraged and inspired you today to live a healthier life without restriction. If you enjoyed this podcast, would you do me a huge favor and give it a star rating and review in iTunes? Every rating, review, and subscribe helps this podcast be seen and heard by more women who need to hear it. You can find me, Kristen, on Instagram and Facebook at Healthy Mama Chris or on my website, healthymamachris.com. As a reminder, the information and opinions on this podcast are intended for information and inspiration only and are not a substitute for professional medical advice or treatment. Please consult with your healthcare practitioner before making any changes. See you in the next episode.